Over one-third of the active Marine Corps Hawk equipment, including the TPS-59 radar, already has been modified to provide short-range tactical ballistic missile defense for expeditionary Marine forces. The Hawk Missile System. Initially fielded in the early 60s, Hawk has evolved to remain today as the premier medium-range air defense system. Hawk has distinguished itself in combat on at least four occasions. The first hostile aircraft was eliminated in 1969 and the reputation of the Hawk Missile System has remained at the front of reliable air defenses since that time. Hawk's present service will remain with the U.S. Marine Corps and over 20 nations throughout the world. These customers know that Hawk can be depended upon for growth options that can keep abreast of the most sophisticated enemy threats. The system is all-weather capable and has demonstrated capabilities against cruise missiles, unmanned aerial vehicles, and short-range tactical ballistic missiles, as well as fixed and rotary wing aircraft. The chosen path for the U.S. Army in the air defense arena is leap-ahead technology, so Hawk had to take a back seat for limited funding resources. But this system, right now, represents an exceptional buy for friends and allies seeking a proven air defense system with minimal operations and support costs. Hawk proudly retired from the Army inventory by going out in a blaze of glory at McGregor Missile Range, which is near Fort Bliss, Texas. Many of the observers have worked with the Hawk program for many years, and many others will be with the system for years to come as the project continues to keep the peace by maintaining safe air spaces. The system is ready. The launcher with the lethal firepower in place. The high power illuminator is operational. The continuous wave acquisition radar functioning. And the targets? The MQM-34D and the MQM-107s are flying. The first target is identified and acquired. The missile is launched. Shot number two, target acquisition, missile launch. Shot number three, target acquisition, missile launch. But the missile detects noise, so the high power illuminator immediately switches to track on jam mode. The missile is destroyed in flight for safety reasons, but the system performs precisely the way it is supposed to.
shot number four. The target this time is an object about three feet long and nine inches in diameter, being towed behind a 107 going about 340 meters per second. The missile is launched, but because the target is so small, the missile does not fuse. Had this been a tactical aircraft, it would have been destroyed. Shots five and six are fired in whiffle sequence. The first missile cracked and destroyed the target with a direct hit. The follow-up missile did not have a complete lock on the target and self-destructed. In over 2,000 firings, Hawk maintains an 86% success rate. The continuing challenge of air defenses is to ensure that the system can be adjusted to meet the ever-changing threat. Hawk's design meets these challenges. The United States government is committed to standing behind the Hawk system until the year 2010. The Hawk customer will be able to customize his Hawk system to meet his own particular requirements for greater firepower, enhanced mobility, inclusion of advanced sensors, and expanded air defense integration. All these improvements can be individually tailored so each customer can obtain the maximum utility from their investment. Hawk, now and in the future.